Welcome back. We finally found an elevator that works. Now well, let's see where it takes us. It takes us... Ah, we've seen this before. This leads to the uh, docking station where the rock ship is anchored. Let's see if... Uh, actually, it looks like this elevator can go further up. Let's just see where that uh, takes us for future reference. I'm guessing it's going to be one of the two elevator shafts we saw on the top of the palace. And we would be right. Which means we still haven't found um, the elevator or the ending of the other elevator shaft that we saw near the top. At least now we have a way to get back up, which means we have a way to get back to the linking book. Um, should we get stuck here with the puzzles? But for now we don't have anything to do up here, so let's head back downstairs. down this bridge of um, floating rocks that Cirrus constructed, we end up back in... Uh, oh yeah, it actually doesn't lead to the docking station, it leads to the uh, vegetable garden. I was confused, I do apologize. Okay, what um, else can we do? Well, we haven't been up this um, ladder yet, however, I want to go down uh, first. There we are. The rock ship. Cyrus uh, suggested that um, he needed to add additional uh, conductors to keep the ship at the right altitude. Um, that suggests that you actually need all of these conductors to be powered. Also the fact that he uh, was complaining about the magnet being too strong suggests that you need to have power from all of these magnets for in order for the ship to work. Which means that we're going to have to set um, this panel so that we get power from all seven uh, conductors, which isn't that hard. There we go. So now the ship is stuck to the bottom uh, conductor. Which uh, means we can't use it. And apparently Sirius built another uh, electromagnet to counterbalance that, which is probably these other uh, conductors we see up there have something to do with that. And it would make a lot of sense if we go all the way up the ladder, um, that that's where we end up. I want to look at the circuit board before we do that, though. Because now some more things uh, here make sense. Because we can now make some sense of these symbols. Um, 
at least more than we could before. And we can zap ourselves, which is always nice. Um, this appears to be the bottom um, electromagnet. This would appear to be the top electromagnet, which currently has no power. It seems to receive its power from four additional lightning conductors, which are the ones we can see floating higher up. And these ones are the seven ones down here, which are currently powering the lower electromagnet, but that power is also fed through the um, power switch that we saw into the spider chair. One thing to note is that there is an additional source of power, um, which we cannot actually control, we can't turn it on and anywhere, leading into the spider chair. This is uh, something I want to point out because I'll refer to it later. This is one of the few instances where the designers of the game did properly think things through. <laughs> in this age, which, uh, as I've pointed out, is very rare here in Spire. And there seem to be a whole bunch of conductors somewhere else, we haven't found out where yet, which can also provide uh, power to the spider chair. And I guess that that's uh, how we uh, will be able to get the required 36 units of power. to power uh, the spider chair fully so we can get to its lowest level. Okay, with that out of the way, let's uh, check out the... Uh, top of this ladder. Well, and as predicted, it leads us to another set of uh, lightning conductors, which are actually not uh, floating, but they're simply chained to the structure here. And these conductors feed into another electromagnet at the top. Well, as I've already said, this entire approach with the two magnets makes no sense whatsoever, but uh, we'll just ignore that and pretend it does. This panel works uh, much the same way as the, the one we've seen before. Um, in this case, the left position adds one light, the middle position adds two lights, and the right position removes um, two lights which has the effect of putting the uh, ship at the right height. We can't really see that from here, but we can tell it's at the right height because this panel has another gauge indicating the height of the ship and it's currently at the green marking, which means it's at the right height. This means that now we should be able to use the ship. This entire uh, construct with the two magnets it seems to be just there to uh, give us a puzzle. Which, in my opinion, is not sufficient reason. Wait, actually, um, I'm not sure. We got a memory for the bottom one, yeah. There's also a memory for the top one. Almost forgot about that. run these calculations a million times. Counterbalance the magnetic forces perfectly, otherwise the ship won't get out of the dock. And you do want to get out of the dock, don't you? After all these years of trying? Well, it's only your own fault for all these years of trying, because as I said, you didn't need to do this much easier ways to just reduce the power of the lower electromagnet 
And that's assuming that using an electromagnet for this purpose would work at all, which it wouldn't if the uh, phosphorescent green mineral is in fact diamagnetic, as uh, Cirrus uh, postulated. But anyway, seems that uh, Cirrus won't let something as simple as the laws of physics stand in his way when he wants to achieve a goal. And it seems that we have uh, all the conditions we need now to get this ship uh, moving. Although how it's going to move we don't know because it doesn't appear to have any uh, visible uh, method of propulsion. Because we've uh, grounded all seven of the, elect uh, the lower electromagnets and we've properly balanced the ship so that it's floating at the right altitudes. So in the next video we are going to go to the second palace.